Good morning and welcome to Bible in Ear. As today we are on day 287 of 365 days as we're going through the Bible, uh, the Holy Bible, the uh, New International Version in 365 days. My name is Pastor Jay Lutz and I'm going to be taking you through this new period called the Maccabean Revolt. Uh, today we are uh, reading Proverbs chapter 22 verses 17 to 21. A little bit about this reading. Solomon spends this time teaching his listener about how to learn from him the sayings of the wise. They are to apply these sayings foremost, first in their heart, then on their lips. These sayings include counsel and knowledge, which give sound, true, and reliable answers to all who ask. This is the importance of wisdom. So, let's read all about it. Proverbs chapter 22, verses 17 to 21. Pay attention and listen to the sayings of the wise. Apply your hearts to what I teach. For it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips, so that your trust might be in the Lord. I teach you today, even you. Have I not written 30 sayings for you? Sayings of counsel and knowledge, teaching you true and reliable words so that you can give sound answers to him who sent you. Your ends are reading. So, these readings for today. Yeah, this is Solomon um, teaching his son and who knows what other young men about the knowledge of God uh, and how Wise knowledge is something that's not just um, here in one ear, out the other, don't worry about. These are things that when you hear them, you should take them deeply into your heart, think about them, chew upon them, um, as Psalm 1 says, that we might meditate on his word both day and night. And like a tree planted beside um, moving waters, that as we bring in these God's wisdom, that it might nourish us. And uh, so that as, as it gives in Psalm 1, it gives, the, um, it gives us this imagery uh, that the leaves never wilt and that in all the ways the, the tree prospers. And so that's what we are to be like as we sit and we listen to the wisdom the wisdom that Solomon speaks here, the wisdom of God, that as we sit and listen, that it might enter into our hearts, that it might be ever on our lips. So then the knowledge and the counsel that we've been given might be able to uh, give sound answers, wise answers for those who are willing to listen. And so, uh, and how do we receive this? Well, it's a free gift from God. And all good things uh, come from God. All good wise counsel, all good gifts, all come from our Heavenly Father. Why? Because He loves us. And he wants us to be wise. He wants us to be able to um, give people uh, good answers so they um, find glory in God, that they learn uh, and that they become wise themselves, uh, just as God is wise. And so we thank God that he gives us these, uh, these words uh, to strengthen our, our relationships, to make us um, ever want to seek him, uh, and uh, that we might glorify him in the process. So we just thank God today. We pray and uh, thanks that God has continued to shape us in his word, and that he continues to find purpose and meaning for our lives, and that we might be able to, in return, uh, give him the glory and the praise and honor that he so deserves. So let's thank God for that. And we, how do we thank God? One way we do this is through prayer. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly God, we thank you for this day. We thank you that you are a good God. Uh, you give us the words of wisdom. You plant them into our hearts. 
that we might that they might ever be on our lips to tell um, of sound and truth that as we speak the truth um, we might tell other people about the good news of you that you came to this earth in the form of your son Jesus Christ and that not only did he love his people but he loved them so much that he took all their wrongdoings upon himself and he died for them in order that they might be cleaned of them and have new life and life to the fullest. We thank you, God, for the life you've given us uh, and that we, might not, that we might not take this life for granted, but that we might use it to the fullest in order to, to love one another, to teach one another, uh, and so that others might prosper from that, that they might learn the truth, and the truth will set them free. We thank you for all this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today on this day 287. Uh, may you be blessed by these words of Solomon, which are the words of God, and that in those you might move towards more sound uh, words, that you might move towards the truth, and when you find the truth, that you might settle in it and that it might um, break forth new life and freedom for all. Thanks for joining me today. Have a blessed day.